Right, so a rat box snare. Um, if you want to see if you've got it, an original version of this, look in the book Camp Life in the Woods and the Tricks of Trap Trapping and Trap Making. And they've got a version of the box snare in there. Um, it's slightly different to this one as it's shorter and um, it's bigger. Because I've made this smaller, intended for rats, probably would get mice and maybe might get squirrel, squirrels depending if they'll get into the entrance, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, in the book, it's shorter. It would probably have been about that that short to there. So from here, from here to here. But with the stick on the back, with a short box, to get the bend on it, you've got to have a massive great long stick and really bend it right down. Because if you've got a slightly longer box, the stick doesn't have to be so long and it doesn't have to bend over so far. As you can see, that's perfect there. Whereas had I have had the box cut off here, it you know it would be a lot harder to get the stick right. So I'll show you it going off and then I'll give a bit of a close-up on some of the bits and tell you how I made it. So you got a trigger stick. Now this is only one part that I'm not too keen on. It's because you put the trigger up and when it goes off the trigger falls down, you've got to keep putting it putting it back in again. You could sort that out by drilling a hole and putting another pin at the top. Whereas I'd started to do that on mine, but it started to split the wood, so I had to stop. But you could put another pin near the top. It's notched to tie bait on, and it's got a notch at the top there. So you put that up in there. Now this is the only thing being a narrow box, it's quite hard to get in. If you had a bigger box, it'd be quite easy to get your hand in there. Pull this down, get that in place. I'm holding it with this finger, then adjust the snare, which in this case it's just one single strand of brass wire. It goes off pretty good. And then the rat comes in, takes the bait, and then he's caught in there. So how I made it, it was quite easy. So first of all, all I did was cut these four bits of wood. They're the same size pieces. Cut them, glued them, and then nailed them together. Cut this one for the back, and glued that and nailed it on. Leave the front open, obviously. Now you could vary the sizes for these you know for different animals um, and then we've got a block of wood and cut a slight notch in it like a slot in it down there might be actually better that side see there square notch to stick the bending stick into now i flattened one side of that so it kind of sat against this better and then screwed that on now when you've done that then you've got your box and your stick on it I then drilled the holes at the top now I've drilled three holes one is for the trigger stick it's got to be quite quite big and so that moves inside there like that because your pin here will stop it coming through the reason I've drilled three holes is so I could do this two different ways I could have a noose like an actual proper noose with one strand coming up to here or I can do it like this with one going through each side you know down each side of the box kind of thing so I drilled them three holes and then I got this stick carved it right held it in place there 
start to stick through and marked it for this and then marked the area for the um this screw as well and then I did the final adjusting cutting this shaping it getting it the right size now the pin you know most of these things are kind of you just got to do them kind of custom if I couldn't really tell you sizes you just got to stick it in see if it fits if it don't cut it down a bit that's how I do it I no measuring at all I didn't I don't do any measuring whatsoever if you really wanted to know the measurements of this I could tell you but I don't actually know at the minute um, and then I stuck the stick in trigger stick and then cut it off marked it cut the notch in and then pulled this down marked how long the string would have to be and tied it tied it on and the final thing I did was pull this down into place put the snare through started to tie it and made sure this is tight like this when I tied the, the, um, tied the snare onto there if that makes sense so relatively easy to make only took you know like probably less than 15 minutes but this is the only thing because this is quite narrow it's quite hard to get this in here Hopefully with this light on you should be able to see this better. So get your trigger kind of bait stick, stick that in. Like I said, it's slightly awkward, but it's thin like this. Pull this down, get that in place, hold it. You can just about see the snare there. See it here? Adjust that so it kind of fills the sides in. There's not much space. Like I said, it's got quite a good trigger on it. It goes off quite, you know, it's quite sensitive. If it had been a bigger box, like I said, it would be easier to get this in. But it's quite hard to get in like that it stays this time it's a pull trigger as you can see quite a decent little trap quite small I reckon that'll work pretty good Obviously you tie your bait onto this. I suppose you could put some bait in the back as well. Very similar to... There's quite a few other traps this is similar to. Even including some of the old style mole traps. This is quite, um, quite similar really. There's another rat trap but I can't quite remember the name right now. Yeah, so quite like that, quite a nice little trap, um, very similar to the bamboo one they make, but just the name is just escaping me right now, I can't think of it at all. It'll come to me later, I'll suddenly just remember it. I suppose you could do a trap like this as an animal paw trap as well if you wanted to. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.